tonight? Well, gee. Just want to have some good new fashion fun, y'all. on the roof of Sunday Best Towers. We are. <laughs> so it's uh, Dan the Sack and Scroobius Pit. Oh, yes. Um, well hanging done. out <laughs> on the week. You remember? Yeah. Yay. Yeah, when I was a kid, I was in like a little punk bands and, that, and I wrote uh, lyrics and things like that then, but it wasn't until I started doing actual spoken word and hip hop or poetry that I realized that the stuff I wrote then is as valid as poetry as anything we're doing now kind of thing. My cousin, Billy, was a, a producer, so I kind of got into music through enjoying the music he made and started learning how to sequence and all that through what he did. But I found that I enjoyed being able to create the whole thing, not just sit there and go, yeah, I've got a great chord structure here. And me and Dan, I grew up in the same town, but I'm pretty sure we've never actually seen each other or spoken whilst both in that town. We, we knew each other anyway, but I hadn't really talked to him in a few years. We used to work in the same shops, go to the same clubs. That one over there being one of them. But then it wasn't until we were living completely other sides of London that we started to work together amusingly. It's such a cliche, but it was a MySpace thing. I booked him to come and play in Reading, but I did some remixes in, in the meantime of his stuff. And we kind of, once we set up our own MySpace for those remixes, it was suddenly this, all right, it, seem to like this more. That's how me and Dan met. The, uh, the blogs or whatever to me. You know, John Kennedy XFM was playing it. I've started playing it. Yeah. One of those sort of cult records that everyone sort of suddenly it's you're, bit, you're in the enemy it. and you were that's like. It. It's a weird one. It's in everyone's memories as our hit, but it wasn't. You know, we only released a thousand, and it just got in the top forty. Played as a white van man in Basildon. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I remember that. that was, uh, yeah, exactly. You wouldn't know who it was. Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't be able to spell your name. To say Ding La Rock. That Ding La Rock fella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's really weird with me and Dan because we record and write completely separately. Um, either Dan would have sent me a beat or I'll, I'll knock something up uh, really loose so that I can then record a vocal and I record it all in my bedroom so I just, it's not very good equipment. The earphones are terrible so to make sure there's no track coming through on the vocal I have to put my earphones on and then put three beanie hats over the top so it's soundproof. His field of expertise is lyrics and I'm not going to sit over the shoulder saying, what about saying? Ovulate there, you know, because I'm, I'm not a screwed bit, I'm not, you know, and same with him. If he stood over my shoulder saying, I want the beat to be a bit more cheese like, you know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work. So it allows us both to just, yeah, keep our own styles and not compromise. The most important of all, thou 
Dasha always. Dasha always kills. I mean, you're from a spoken word background, which you, you've done uh, on my show on on the radio, and you know you brought a load of those guys through, and the whole spoken word scene at the moment is really kind of yeah, it's picking up. A, 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 a really nicely we're going to be doing a regular a spoken word show and it really highlights me how strong the scene is I switch off all unnecessary facets and glide through the down cruise control remembering what life was like before this role and as I stare blankly from my till point I'd often start to tap my feet to the discreet beat the general public secrete and me and Dan are both worked at HMV, which a lot of people think are, are, are working in retail shit I loved it because it meant that both of us were always around music but I was running the store one day um, and some lads tried, like they broke, o they broke open our iPod cupboard and I, you know, I'm the kind of guy that takes pride in my work and isn't just going to let them walk away. So I run to try and stop like a gang of four lads and then get punched once in the face and then in the back of the head and then I start to fall backwards and then I just chase after them again. But um, yeah, it was good, I didn't mind. It was a bit of a bump, a bit of a bruise. That's Essex for you. You do so, DJing on your own. I do your DJ, yeah. You get sweaty and get drunk and all that. So it's not, it's weird because obviously, spoken word, it's all very. Uh, Careful what you say. It's mentally terrible. expansive. Yeah, yeah, Whereas yeah. when I DJ, it's about people getting, getting on the end of it. Pissed and, and yeah, trying yeah. to pull. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think I will, will cause more babies to happen than anything. <laughs> <laughs> but that's about it. This is a letter from God to man. It says, hey there, how's it going? Long time no see. I know I've been around much lately, but it didn't seem like you wanted me to be. The last time I sent down the message, now it's to the cross, so I figured I'd just leave you to it. Let you be your own boss. I use a Catholicism in particular because in the UK and the US, it's such a well-known religion that all the structures are, are, are universally known, really. We all know about God and Jesus and this kind of thing. So it's a good template to, to get a message across without it being another, oh, the world's gone to shit. He's a good banjo player as well, God. You know, people forget how good God is on the banjo. He wrote that Julian Banjo by himself. He plays both parts for arms, you see. It's a bit like Ganesha. For the fan at home, then, obviously, they know that you sampled yeah. Radiohead's Planet of Hell it's, it's his bloody idea. It's my fault. Everything, the only samples on the album are tracks which I'd written and made a rough version of the beat and then sent it to Dan and said, turn this into a proper beat and then we're back to get obviously clearance. And when I was writing it, the, the big Everything is Broken sample was really irrelevant to the actual lyrics, so I was, it was kind of integral there. And then uh, when we finally heard back, they did sit down and have a meeting and decide to give it the thumbs up. Oh, some, some great bells. So as soon as they approved it, we set some bells off just to yeah. celebrate. <laughs> Gentlemen, Mr. Dan Love. I try not to try and make too conscious a decision of what to write about. I try and just kind of, I'll often, I'll make. And, and notes of little lines here and there along the way and when something just comes out of nowhere I'll just I'll start to piece it all together and, and build from there. The only words I wrote on the album were relevant to a moment in my life. It was about a certain point breaking up with someone. So I had to, I managed to express that in four lines. There's a weight over me today Something I have to say Love you too much to leave, don't like you enough to stay. My head's in a mess and I'm stressed, but I guess it's a test in the quest for happiness. The rest of that mess, so I best just acquiesce, even though I've grown tired of you. 
up and that ain't meant to sound spiteful I just tried to be insightful When I write all my emotions and then knife all the stuff I tried to fight will just come out The sad fact is, I'm so tired of you Our words have been the first part of our career Completely it's all in our own hands So now it's good that we're with a label and stuff So there are releases are rolling out all across Europe and in Japan and America and that kind of thing. So it's like, as suddenly it's just, yes, yeah, it's going from place to place and job to job. It's good. Like a hitman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But too much to think and you're way too much a drink When the paper meets the ink, overthinking is the chink in my armour But that's just what I do and I'm, I'm going to go and uh, shoot the uh, bell ringers and good, good work. hang the vicar from the end of the bell The end of my yeah. bell end Right <laughs> Thanks for uh, joining us, Dan, hello Sweet